Hey everybody, Ivan here. Today we're going to review the Fortress air compressor. Fortress, exactly. What the hell is that? And some Harbor Freight. But trust me, it's a great compressor. So I've been a carpenter for about 20 years now. I've used a ton of different compressors for my interior trim work, from, from Hamglow, Hitachi, Porter Cable, DeWalt, you name it. Um, I went online, I was trying to find a new compressor, and this one kept popping up. And I was really hesitant because I didn't know what Fortress was, and it's made by Harbor Freight, and I really don't deal with Harbor Freight for anything, but there was about 750 reviews and a 99% positive rate. So I was like, let me try it. So I went to Harbor Freight, um, I believe it was about $160. Um, this is a two gallon tank. It's up to 135 PSI, 2.1 uh, cubic feet per minute fill rate, and it's 1.2 horsepower. The, most, the two most important things about this thing is the fill rate is extremely fast, and the biggest thing is it's so quiet. When I turn this on later, you're gonna realize you can talk right over it. It's the quietest thing. And you know with air compressors, especially the ones without the oil in them, they're super loud. So I was extremely impressed with this one. So just to go over the structure real quick, um, it's got this aluminum grate going all the way around it. And actually I like the engineering. We got the drain valve right here, but they made this these bars far enough out. So if I do ever drag it, that valve won't get damaged. The tank's just aluminum. They incorporated a nice little bracket to get the cord. And it's about 37 pounds, I, I believe, something like that. And then you have your two inlets for your air compressor guns. And straightforward. This is your tank pressure. This is your outlet pressure. And your motor's right here. This is a brushless motor, which is gonna be a lot more reliable and then you have your stainless steel braided lines and all the connections are all brass, which is perfect. So I've used this one for about six months now. Um, again, it's just for interior trim work. Again, it's only a two gallon tank, right? So you can get your baseboards in, your crown molding, chair rail, wainscoting, all that kind of stuff off this. You're not doing any roofing, you're not framing any houses. So chill people, all right? You need the big boy ones for that. But for interior projects or even filling up the tires on your car, this thing's perfect. All right, so I'm going to turn this on real quick. This thing fills to about 120 PSI in 50 seconds. That's great. Believe me on that. Watch how quiet this damn thing is. I can talk right over it, and I'm not even yelling. And if you watch the gauge, look how fast that thing's filling. The refill rate on this is fantastic. Like I said, it's about 50 seconds. It says it's 80% quieter than the average compressor. You're absolutely right. We're almost there. It's at 100. And that's 120 PSI. And obviously most trim guns you're going to use anywhere between 9 and 120 PSI. Whether that's your finish nailer, your brad nailer, your, your, your staple gun, and boom. That was about 50 seconds. It's so quiet. I, I love this thing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my pancake porter cable and you're going to hear the difference in sound. And how slow that fill rate was. So just because you can hear the difference in these things, this is the one that I'm replacing. This is your typical six gallon pancake compressor from Porter and Cable. So it's already plugged in. Now listen to this one and watch how slow it takes to fill up. enough of that mess but you get what I'm saying this thing is super quiet I love this thing so I'm gonna show you how well this compressor works this is my Bosch trim nailer I use this all the time I got a small clip of two and a half inch trim nails all right slide that up there locked in so as you can see the outlet pressure is about a hundred psi 
Most of these trim guns operate anywhere from 80 to 120 PSI, which is perfect. All right, so watch. I'm going to be able to shoot a bunch of nails in here without any issue whatsoever. So, I put a whole bunch of nails in there without issue. They were able to drive right through this 2x4 without any kind of problem. And obviously, this isn't used for 2x4s, so it would be perfectly fine with your average base trim, crown molding, or wainscoting job. Plenty of power. Alright, so let's wrap this up real quick. Notice anything different? Yeah, I'm not a CGI expert. My beard is gone. So when I went to go edit the video, I realized from my closing, I cut half of my body off. Hey, I'm new at this stuff. I'm learning. But anyways, let's get back to the compressor. So yes, I definitely recommend this compressor. It's got everything that you're going to need to do any kind of interior carpentry or any little wooden DIY projects. All right. Again, $160 from Harbor Freight, 37 pounds, great quality, great engineering, just what you need. So I definitely recommend. So wrapping this up, if you're into construction projects, home renovations, DIY projects, gardening, I'm your guy. So do me a favor and subscribe to my page. Thanks.